rebuild their home years after a fire, but they say they've dealt with an absent contractor in the months that followed. And for now, they're just stuck in limbo. KS HB 41's Grant Stevens shares their story and shows us how challenging it can be to rebuild from the ground up. Right back here is where the original fire had started and everything. The work in progress home Jimmy Gill and Robin Jackson walked us through still needs a lot of work and progress. Everything kind of shot up, but was done wrong. Has been spotty. But then we started noticing like, hey man, that's not right. That fire Gill mentioned happened two years ago. Nothing was left but a concrete slab. Insurance covered a contractor. They paid one, but they say the work was slow and much of it done incorrectly. And at a certain point, the mortgage company said no more. Was that a big moment for you when the mortgage company started saying, hey, maybe things aren't right here. We're going to hold the payments. Was that Absolutely. a big wake up moment? Absolutely. By the time we finally fired him, this is where we were left with no money, thousands of dollars in debt and nowhere to live. Payment can't start again until work gets to a certain milestone, until they get new bids, new permits. I've seen these two not be able to live in a house in comfort. Yeah. It really truly is the worst yeah. because I'm supposed to be able to take care of them yeah. and that's what I thought I was doing and now I can't because of what somebody else did. They're telling us all this as a warning to others. Be leery of contractors. It's a look at how difficult rising from the ashes can be, but that hasn't stopped them yet. If once you give up, there's no going back. So you can't give up. In Cass County, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.